Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. Today we've got ourselves one of these new MacBook Pros. This is the 13 inch MacBook Pro. We're gonna go through a simple unboxing and opening it up, having a look at what it looks like. And then we're gonna set it up and configure some basic applications and configuration settings. So let's go through that right now. So here it is. We've already taken the initial plastic off the side. So this is a MacBook Pro 13 inch. Uh, this is a quad core, eighth generation. Uh, it's 2.4 gigahertz and we've got this up to 16 gig of RAM. Let's just open it up right here. Of course, in usual Apple sense, all the packaging looks fantastic. It looks really nice. There is the Mac on its own. Let's just go through that in a second. Let's see what else is inside the box. So we've got our USB-C cable that will run into a USB-C power adapter, which is right here. I'm in Australia, so I've got an Australian plug on here. So there you go, so you're running the cable into there and into the side of any of the USB ports of the computer. And we've got a standard Apple pack where little simple guide on using the thing, how it all operates and the Apple stickers, which are common in every single pack. And that's really it inside the box. So the Mac comes wrapped in plastic, which we'll just remove. We've got ourselves a space gray, which looks very, very, very slick. Here it is, beautiful. On the side, we've got a couple of USB-C connectors, a audio jack, three and a half inch analog audio jack, and another couple of USB-C connectors there on the side. And we're gonna go open it up. Take this off. And didn't even have to power it on. It just powered on automatically because it detected that it was open. And now we're gonna go through the simple install step. Okay, I can just leave it on the to default. Use English as the main language, press the return key. There you go, press the return key or I can just click on okay. Well, not on OK, but on the little arrow there. And you're actually accepting the use, uh, acceptable use policy right from there. What country are you in? So I'm in Australia, it's detected that automatically because that's where I've purchased it. Continue, select your keyboard. Select the Wi-Fi network that is relevant to you. If you wanna go ahead and configure that straight onto the internet, it's generally recommended that you do connect it to a wireless network, to some sort of network, so that you can go and register your Mac straight away. So we've connected there to a wireless network. It is recommended that you do connect to a wireless network so that you can take advantage of configuring and registering your Mac properly. Info here around data and privacy. Now you can transfer information to this Mac from a, an existing computer or from nothing. Uh, so you can set it up from a Mac, which is actually quite helpful. So if you do have another Mac, another earlier version of a laptop or a desktop, earlier version of Mac OS, you can transfer that data from one to the other. You can do it over a time machine backup. Uh, you can also do this from a Windows PC. If you do have a Windows PC and you need to transfer data over from that, or you can just transfer nothing. Uh, and essentially you're setting up the Mac as a brand new computer and then you can go and customize this and copy any data over manually. Just say that we don't want to transfer anything over. Sign in with your Apple ID. Uh, if you don't have one, you can go and create a new Apple ID right here. You can also set it up later if you so need to. I recommend that you do the Apple ID setup right here. It just makes the whole process a lot smoother. So that Apple ID has now been put in. It's authenticated myself. It's found that I have an actual active Mac account. You can agree to the terms and conditions if you're happy with that. So with your Apple ID, it may have already populated some information, including your full name and its recommended account name for you. You can change this. So I've just left my name as Emilio, my account name as Emilio. I've put in the password that I want to use uh, to log in. I can put in an optional hint, which I can say normal password something like that. And you can also allow your Apple ID to reset this password. So if you log into another device uh, using your Apple ID, you can actually configure uh, this so that you can reset your Mac password straight through your Apple ID. Your account will then be created and now iCloud will start to do its thing in the background, including setting up your account and getting this working as it should be. Presented with some express setup options here. 
uh, that you can go and configure. You can customize things like Siri, Maps, etc. Help Apple improve its its thing, its products. I'm going to say continue. So you've got full Siri integration on your Mac. So you can leave that as enabled uh, if you want to use Siri on your Mac, which is quite nice to have from time to time. So you can set that up now, or you can set that up later. We'll just uh, may as well do that now. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, open the documents folder. Hey Siri, show my downloads. Hey Siri, what's the weather? Hey Siri, what does the rest of my day look like? And that's it. So after a few different commands, it sort of now recognizes your voice and it's ready to go. You can choose to encrypt your hard drive using FileVault. Uh, I generally would recommend that you do this uh, so that if your Mac, for example, is stolen, uh, they can't just rip the hard drive out of here, plug it into a USB you know, um, can, uh, enclosure and then get all your data off. So it's always good to have your data encrypted uh, on your hard drive for security reasons. So we're gonna leave that on as default and we're gonna allow my iCloud to unlock my disk. So in the event where I, I can't get into my Mac, I can use iCloud to actually unlock my disk and uh, decrypt it. Here we set up our fingerprint. So it does have Touch ID. So on the very top right corner of your Mac, because this does have the this fancy little bar on the top, uh, you can actually set your Mac up so that it uses your fingerprint to unlock uh, your Mac and to also make purchases with Apple Pay. So let's just start by putting my finger on here. You can set up multiple fingers if you so choose to. Uh, change your look. Uh, I like the dark look. The dark look is something that was introduced in newer versions of Mac OS. Uh, but you can pick light or dark. Let's just go to dark. I think it looks pretty, pretty slick. Continue. True tone display. So it automatically adapts to my light. So I can put my light up or down uh, depending on um, you know the lighting in my room. So we'll leave that. And it's doing some final setting up of my Mac. And there you have it. So that is now logged in. I can go and use my Mac as needed. I can go into my system preferences, configure my Mac as I as I would, you know, essentially what I would like it to be configured like. I like to do things like changing my desktop, my screensaver, adjusting my dock size, like something that I like to do is make it uh, so that it has this magnification feature. I'll make it a bit smaller so that when I use my mouse, it does this nice little effect, which is very uh, Mac-like. Um, and yeah, you can go and configure as much more things as you need right in there. So that is really just the overview of the MacBook Pro 13 inch. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Digital by Computing. Like this video as well and we'll see you next time.